In this video, we're going to be painting with some bubbles. So, you're going to need some dish soap, some kind of paint, uh, tempera paint or acrylic paint will work just fine. You're going to need some water, a straw, some paper, and something to put all of your water, paint, and soap in. Now, I've already made a couple of colors, but I'm going to show you how I made one of my little bubble solutions as well. I found it easiest to just fill up whatever you are putting your stuff in about halfway with water and then add paint and soap to it until you were able to create bubbles that looked the color of the paint that they're supposed to be. So I've got my water in this cup and I'm going to just add plenty of dish soap to it making sure that I put plenty in there and then I'm going to add lots of paint so I've made blue and yellow and now I'm going to be making a cup of red and you'll see that I am putting lots of this red paint in here and these were both old bottles so I am squirting as much as I can out of two of these paint bottles but you can use the paint that you have it does not in any way have to be these certain colors and then you want to make sure that you mix it all up together and like I said you want to make sure that it the bubbles that start to form are the color of the paint that you are putting in there. If your bubbles still look white or really, really clear, you want to add a little bit more paint to it and then stir it up a little bit more. That's why I'm having to add a little bit more red paint. So now I'm going to start actually putting the bubbles onto the paper. Now, when you do this, you are going to have to blow through the straw into your cup full of bubbles to make bigger bubbles until they come over the top of the cup or bowl that you've got it in. And then you're just going to set your paper on top of the cup and it's going to put those bubbles onto your paper. And you're going to repeat this with however many colors you want to do this with. Now, I'm using some cardstock paper because it's a little bit sturdier, but this will work just a little differently with regular paper, too. Now, you're also going to have to make sure that you're paying attention to how big your paper is. I cut mine down to be about the same size as the cups I was using. If you've got a whole sheet of paper that you're trying to do this with because you don't feel like cutting it, then you may have to blow the bubbles and press yours onto your cups a few more times to actually fill it up. But I like to use this smaller piece of paper so that I can just kind of do it once or twice and have all my layers of color on there. Now, you'll see that I've put all three of mine on there. You can see how the bubbles kind of pop or you may even have some bubbles left that you've got to wait on or that you need to pop yourself. But then you'll just repeat this, these steps however many times you need to to fill up your paper or to do however many of these that you want to. Now, I'm going to let these dry and come back to them because it doesn't have to stop just after you've got the bubbles popped and painted on there. You can then use the pictures that you made out of the bubbles and add things to them. So now that they're dry, and actually I ended up making a couple other ones because I wanted a little bit more color on there, I'm going to add some things to a few different ones. I'm going to speed this up so that you guys don't have to watch me do every little thing on here.
So I drew a few different things on these three. I took one and just left it as a background for my monster. I added some designs to the one in the middle. And then the one on the left, I actually went in and I traced everywhere that I saw the blue. So all the little shapes of bubbles and stuff that are on there are all where I saw the blue paint on there. And I kind of ignored the yellow and red. Like I said, there's lots of ways you can do these. You can do whatever you want to them after you've put the bubbles on there, or you can leave them as just the colors that the bubbles left. However, you want to do these.